If you choose not to sell your house on your own or if you're in the market to buy and you're looking to select a real estate agent, either way, you're dealing with a real estate agent and there's what they call buyer's agents and seller's agents. But no matter which agent you choose, if you follow the money, the seller is the one that ends up paying for the real estate agent out of their pocket. So just remember that part when we talk about the next part. Um, so if you're looking to buy or sell a real estate, there's a few things that you want to do. Number one is you want to talk to them. Yes, talk to them. Because whichever real estate you select, whether you're buying or selling a house, you want to make certain that you get along with them and um, you have a rapport with them, you trust them. Because they are representing you. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're not sure about the real estate agents in your area, you might have noticed, if you have a home already, that you probably get all these mailers and flyers and things about real estate agents in your area. Or you may also ask some different people that you know that are located in your area about real estate agents they recommend. If this is for a place that you're looking at buying and it's not located near you and it's a further distance, um, if there's a real estate agent you trust, you can ask them who they should, who they recommend for you to work because they'll give you a referral for an agent in, in a further distant area. So anyway, going back to picking a real estate agent, um, there's different types of agents, just like there's different types of people. They have different types of philosophies. Um, when you are buying or selling a house, one of the first things you want to know is what will the agent do for you and what are they expecting you to do? Because they don't get paid unless the house is bought or sold, right? <laughs> okay, they'll want to do what they can to make sure the house is bought or sold. But remember, they don't get paid until then. So if you're really just looking and not really serious about it, don't enlist an agent. Maybe you're shopping for an agent at that point. But it's a good idea to get an idea of what their philosophies are. On selling a house, for example, some agents may have this idea that whatever the house is, you, you know, and part of this has to do with timing. You put the house on the market, and then based on you know, the house, if there's some things that need improvements, like there's a hole in the roof or some patching or things like that, you just deduct it from the sales price. There's some agents that believe in that. Other agents well, might believe in staging. And actually, we're going to get more into that. But a lot of it has to do with presentation as to make it look better. Some of them, it's just basically, let's do a quick cleanup and put it on the market. Others will actually go in, you know, talk to contractors and actually spend more time putting things together, clean out your house, get everything ready. And um, the idea behind that is that if the house looks clean, ready, um, that you're going to get more buyers that are going to come in faster because it's a clean and ready place. Although remember, part of that has to do with pricing. Um, but the idea is that it'll be a shorter um, time cycle, but there will be more upfront money from you if you choose that route. So those are kind of, you know, when you're looking to buy a house and things to look for. When you're selling a house, actually, if you listen, you know, when you're buying a house, selling a house, you kind of, you know, put the sh foot on a different, you know, put the shoe on a different foot. You can kind of see what they're expecting for you. Um, but when you're, hmm, so that actually that was more selling a house. When you're buying a house and you're looking for the um, real estate agent, some of them may want to know if you're already pre-qualified for a loan to go ahead and get a house because some of them may not even want to work with you until then but you know talk to the real estate agents they all have different philosophies but they want to know that you're serious and actually if you do some house hunting beforehand it's a good idea to find an area as well as a real estate agent oh boy there's oh man, there's many more things to do but we've got you started we'll continue on this next time thanks this is not a spring check it's coming to you